much led by, I suppose, from the research I did, the person I thought Joan Denise to be. And for me, the most striking thing about her, I thought, was that she was an artist, sort of, through and through. She sort of gave up everything for ballet. She didn't have a family, she didn't really have um, many partners or anything like that in her life, and she just didn't seem to live and breathe ballet. She just, nothing could stop her. She just kept going, kept going, until, literally, until she died. I think a film like this, because it's slightly an art film, it may not get shown, you know, at a, at a lot of festivals. So it, you know, it's fantastic that a huge festival like the Dublin International Film Festival will give it a really big premiere. You know, and it's really, really vital to us. Well, I deal with a number of areas. I'm a senior manager there for more than 20 years, but I think today I'm wearing my complaints hat. So I deal with complaints from members of the public in terms of broadcasting services that operate from Ireland. It's always good to go out and hear a different view from uh, members of the, both the public and from people who are involved in actually making programmes. There's such a great selection of photography here going back so many years, both here and running next door in the Irish Georgian Society as well, which contains a set of black and white portraits, including people like Pete Postlewaite, Earl Morris, Tilda Swinton. Um, it's a really wonderful selection of guests we've had in Dublin, uh, from people like Javier Bardem, Tom Hardy, Daniel Day-Lewis and Rebecca Miller, who was back at the festival this year. So I really encourage people to come down and check it out and see what faces they can pick out. I'm involved with a group called the Homeless Coalition for the Homeless of New York, and so I'm, I'm around the shelters all the time. But I, I, I couldn't find a narrative that would really be honest enough. So I started taking the story of the original script and just stripping things away until there was just the, the, the barest hint of a human being there, and started to fracture the idea of time. Be with someone long enough to feel them. And that seemed to mirror my own experience of dealing with homeless people. No one takes the time to just be with it, listen, feel it. And hopefully in this two-hour experience you get some sense of what that's like.